We begin our worship by lighting our candle to remember God's light is with us wherever we are. It's ordinary time when our faith is growing and changing like a green growing thing and we hear the stories of what Jesus said and did. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus went out among the people to live God's life among them to give them new life and new hope, to show them the way of peace, to tell them good news and to set them free. When Jesus went out among the people, he showed God's power and love. He raised the dead to new life. He preached good news to the poor. He said, God is here among you to give you new life like yeast in bread, like the smallest of seeds that grows into a great plant, God's kingdom is coming. God's love is always enough and more than enough. Jesus chose helpers to be with him and learn from him, to share his power and do his work. A great crowd gathered around Jesus in a desert place, thousands of people, and he talked to them and healed them. At the end of the day, they had nothing to eat all day long. And Jesus said to his friends, give them something to eat. But his friends said, we have nothing to give them. And anyway, there are thousands of them. How could we possibly have enough? A child was standing near Jesus. They said, here, I have some food, five loaves of bread, and two fish. And the child gave them to Jesus. Jesus's friends laughed. Five little barley loaves, two small fish. What difference can that make? But Jesus took the bread and broke it and held it up to God and gave thanks. And then he gave it to his friends along with the rest of the loaves and the fish and they gave it to the people and somehow there was enough and more than enough for them all, 5,000 people. Five small loaves of bread and two little fish, and there was enough and more than enough. And the people cried out, God is with us as in the days of old with Moses. God is feeding us in the desert like God fed the children of Israel after they came out of Egypt with bread from heaven. There is enough and more than enough. Now we don't need to be afraid. Now we don't need to fight. God's kingdom is coming. Enough and more than enough. Now the leaders of the people grew afraid. They saw how the people were following Jesus everywhere. They were afraid that Jesus would take away their power. They began to watch and wait for a chance to stop him. But the people spread the good news everywhere. God is with us. God's kingdom is coming. God's love is always enough and more than enough. And that's our story. And now we're going to wonder about the story and you can pause the video to wonder with the people who are with you if you'd like. I wonder what your favourite part 
of the story was. I wonder what the most important part of the story was. I wonder why the child decided to share their meal. I wonder how the people felt when they saw the food starting to be handed out. I wonder how they felt when they realized that out of five small loaves and two fishes, there was enough for 5,000 people. I wonder what the most amazing part of this story is. I wonder which part of this story is for you. I wonder if there's anything in your house that you would like to use to make something or play with this story. And we can keep wondering throughout the week, but for now, our story is finished.